very hot. Ooh, do not touch a hot lamp. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you are having an amazing day today and enjoy the beautiful sunshine for your doggies. Um, so, now I think I've got you a little bit tilted. Let's try and, there we go. All right, that should be better. So, um, another question that I get asked quite a lot is, this is a really good one actually, how can I keep my dog's fur under control? Um, so any of your double-coated breeds, anything like your Labradors, your Golden Retrievers, um, any doggies that shed fur, it is it can be an absolute nightmare. So like your Pomeranians and things like that, and it will go on the floor, it will go on your beds, if it will go on your sofas, absolutely everything. And so a lot of people ask me, how do I keep that under control? So, two things you can do. Number one is obviously um, regular grooming or relatively regular grooming. This can even be just four times a year, really. Um, and what we tend to do as groomers is we will rake out that undercoat. So all of that dead hair that's falling out everywhere, 90% um, of that will be stripped out, okay? And that will be with um, any form of sort of dog grooming rake. Um, they will then get a really nice deep conditioning bath followed by um, the use of a blaster, which will hopefully get out that last bit of hair. So a blaster goes sort of against the coat, um, really, really strong blast of air, as, <laughs> as the name says, um, and that will take out those last bits of hair. This will leave with a really, really nice, soft, silky coat, really easily manageable, um, and hopefully a lot less hair everywhere. So that's the first thing you can do. And the reason that you also want to do this is not only does it help with regards to hair being everywhere in the house, but it also helps um, the dog feel cooler. So obviously where you've got this dead, dense undercoat, it's going to be compact, it's going to be quite dense, and it's going to make the dog very, very hot. As soon as you strip that away and rake that all out, um, then they tend to be a lot, lot cooler. The, the hair is a lot more free flowing. Um, and so that's really, really great, especially when it gets into those summer months. Now, you can also do this at home. Um, so you can use um, a rake, like a sort of a, a good quality dog grooming rake at home. You've got to be careful not to put too much pressure because you don't want to um, make the coat sensitive and make it uncomfortable for your dog. So it's great if you're sort of watching TV or if you, I'd probably advise maybe going outside, you don't want all the hair in your house. Um, <laughs> but I'd probably sort of pick a nice day, go in a cool area and just sit there and you're just gonna rake out that dog's coat. It, oh, sorry, it can take a couple of hours. Um, so that's why a lot of people will also go to groomers as well because um, it can take quite a long time. But once you've done it, it will make the world of difference for you and for your pooch as well. 